A lot of people think that you have to have Epson media to print on an Epson printer. That does yield very, very good results, but surprisingly, you can also print on a lot of generic medias as well. We're gonna show you how to make a print on a specialty CAD media called Vellum. So once our custom or generic media has been loaded, now it's time to go to the control panel and set up a custom media. And this is done by going to menu, general settings, printer settings, custom paper setting. At this point, all we have to do is go down and find an open slot and then put the name in of the custom media that you want to use. This time we uh, loaded vellum, so let's put that in. And once that's done, you can change the reference paper, which is the uh, paper that vellum would be closest to that's already loaded in the printer. So vellum is kind of translucent and about the same size uh, thickness as tracing paper, so I'll select that. If you want to go to advanced paper settings, you can actually dial in the exact thickness and a lot of other custom settings here as well. Once that's in, going into the home menu will allow us to go back to roll one, and then I go to roll one, and I can actually select the paper type. So if I go to more paper types, I go to custom paper, it's going to show all the custom papers that I put in here. And I put in vellum as number 11, I choose that, and hit OK. Once our custom media has been successfully loaded, it will show it right on the screen. So you remember we set up a custom media, so the process is a little bit different than setting up an Epson professional media. So we go to File and Print once our file is loaded into the printing software. And for the printer profile, you want to choose the profile for color that's closest to the media that you're using. So if we're using vellum, generic tracing paper is probably going to be a very close fit. After that, we go into print settings. Then first we set up the size. In this case, is a 24 by 36, or a pretty standard document for vellum, which is a US ArcD size at 24 by 36. And then moving down to roll paper width, it should be 36 because the printer has automatically detected that already. And then the media category, because we did a custom paper, we want to make sure that media category is set to use printer settings and now it's going to use the custom paper settings that we set up on the printer. Lastly, we choose the quality. So if I choose speed, it's going to print faster with a little bit lesser quality, or if we go to high quality, it's going to print at high quality with a little lesser speed. In this case, I'm gonna choose quality, hit okay, and then hit print on the previous dialog box.